And we are going over to Corlear Avenue over where Brown School is. It's a private school and it certainly uh, is, uh, has an innovative program called Ignite. And what does Ignite stand for? Patty Vitale is the head of school and along with her she's brought uh, Nina Benway and ben uh, Nina is the uh, director of IGNITE. So we're going to learn a little bit about that mm -hmm. too. Go ahead. So IGNITE stands for uh, Individualized Goals Nurtured in a Team Environment. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, so you have a whole team, including the parents probably. Well, exactly. The yeah. team really does, um, and students, it, it's not just a team of our faculty members, but it's uh, teachers, it's administration, parents, and students. So Nina spends a lot of time in the beginning of the year meeting with each student individually. Is this like you do an IEP for every student or no? Uh, it's, it's not an IEP, but okay. it's similar in that we look at students, their areas of strength, uh -huh. areas that they want to develop. We do both talent development and we, we work on uh, areas of need for students. So it is individualized, but it is, it's not an IEP. Okay, all right. But it, but it comes from the same type of premise. What we so, when you see students that have IEPs, you're you're just addressing students that have special, special needs. needs yeah. um, and, and you realize you're you're alienating a whole other portion of your your right, student right. body. And and even students that have IEPs have talents, and and they don't have they an opportunity to, be explored, to yeah. right to, to explore and to develop those. So it's really looking at at all ends and all um, aspects of the the student, the the total child. Now, what makes what makes this program unique? And I'll ask Nina. What makes it unique is that we bring together the best of um, my background in speech language pathology and we combine that with the best of my background in gifted and talented education where we offer these educational opportunities to every student regardless of, um, oh you, you don't qualify for this or you don't qualify for that. We, we look at each student, we look at what they need and we we make individualized goals so we can help them. Meet is this their goals. your first year of doing this, this at the was school? Our pilot, yes. And your, your pilot. Now, has this been explored or done in other schools? Um, maybe different or is variations, this kind of but this is this is unique for us. And I think what, um, for, for myself, I think what was a very unique aspect was the collaboration piece of it. Um, as an administrator, as a past teacher, and a parent, um, you you often find that it's not often that we can get. Those that group of people together to collaborate and talk about the student, their child, uh, until it's conference time. So we're looking at the child throughout the year, and it, it gives us more of a connection with the family. Now, have um, you started the program? We did. We did. Okay. We and what this year. kind of preparation do the parents receive? In other words, is this like you call them in and say, "This is what"? How, how does that work? <laughs> well, Nina can take that one. Okay. Sure. Um, well, we start with the students, and we say uh, with the in-person interviews, we start with the students to say, "What are you great at?" What do you want to become better at? What are your favorite things here? And how can we help you reach your goals? And then we combine that with what we've already asked the parents in written form through uh, questionnaires and surveys. Um, if you're familiar with uh, the total talent portfolio, which is from Gifted Education, we look at how students are different learners, how their brains work, how they are And, and everybody learns differently. Absolutely. They really do. And I think it isn't a one size fits all. And I think in our education system, I think with all these standardized tests and everything, I mean, we're kind of getting away from the children. Are, everybody's different. You and I, the three of us probably all Absolutely. learn differently. Right. And I also want to say that we, it's a good point, we know that each student is different and we don't only look at academics. We look at academics, we look at visual and performing arts, social, emotional, and uh, wellness. So we have students whose goals are academic, maybe reading, math. We have students whose goals are sports related due to their extracurricular pursuits, and we have students whose goals are uh, in artistic pursuit as well. And we also do a, a version, we, we, I agree, I think standardized testing is, is somewhat out of control. Um, at Brown we do have a standardized test that we offer from fifth through eighth grade, but the purpose of the, the test is we, we get a lot of data, you get a lot of information on your feedback. students, so we take that and that becomes part of the plan. We yeah. look and we want to see how students are progressing, where is their area that they need a little extra support. So that also goes, goes into developing their goal. So it's not just a test the child takes and then that statistic goes on to possibly evaluate a teacher, but you know, actually be able to gain some insight on how we can better it's develop. difficult well, I, and I've always felt that when you're, you're evaluating your teachers based on student performance it doesn't really always work because mm -hmm. you have kids that really don't 
aren't interested in learning, and, and it doesn't and mean the teacher isn't that, a good teacher. And you have students that j just testing themselves. Yeah. It's, it's an anxiety uh, oh, yeah. event, so they might not perform to their I'm best. Like, oh, God, I hate myself this. as well. <laughs> Don't so, test me, please. Right. So it's, <laughs> so. Um, and if uh, do you still have openings in your school for next? Season? We do, we do. It's filling up. I'm happy to say yeah. um, we're doing we're doing well. So. And I know you have a good arts program we too. We have an excellent art and music program, and uh, we have Spanish that starts at kindergarten. So we've worked hard to make sure that our program has not been affected by a difficult yeah. economy. And yeah, it's it's about keeping things new and fresh. And uh, the Ignite program is a new pro is relatively new program. Uh, when will you be able to evaluate? Uh, the uh, the results of the test. Well, I think we're starting as of now. Yeah, I yes. mean, we, we're already looking at things and seeing where we can tweak, where we can improve. Um, we've gotten our results back from our, our present um, standardized test that we did, and our students did increasingly. Yeah, you improve, can measure. So we can it. see that. Yeah. So yeah. we're we're able to look at that and and see that there has been a definite sign. And you're using growth. student mentors as well. Is that correct? We have student mentors both, um, we have a buddy program where we pair students up, uh, an older student with a younger student, so they have a, a, almost a peer mentor and then there are, you know, faculty. Um, I think it helps the kids to students. see that they can help. I mean, it, it seems like a, a win-win situation in that setup. It's a happy place. Right. <laughs> if you're interested in checking out Brown School, they do have a website and it's uh, brownschool.org. You can check it out. It's, uh, I did explore the website. It's very comprehensive. So I usually explore all my websites before I mention them. But anyway, uh, I want to thank both Nina Benway, who is the director of the Ignite program over at Brown School, and Patty Vitale. She is the head of the school. And uh, check it out. It's the former, was Notre Dame, wasn't it? Former Notre yeah, Dame. Yeah, if, any, if you wonder where it was, that's where it was. So it's over there on Corlear.